dear students once again very warm welcome to your online classes and i hope you will be studying in your home and completing notes and question answers so after completing the assets and basis terms we will uh, today discuss about the salts so salts are the products of neutralization reactions involving the complete or partial neutralization of an acid by a base so you can say that it is a product of a neutralization reaction in which any base completely or partially neutralize any acid okay so these are the uh, basic things which you have to uh, know whenever you read something you can understand on your own words okay so by definition wise when we talk about a salts a salt is an electrovalent or ionic compound formed by the partial or complete replacement of the replaceable or ionizable hydrogen atoms so the hydrogen atoms should be replaceable or ionizable okay so a salt is an electrovalent or ionic compound formed by the partial or complete replacement of hydrogen atoms of an acid by a metallic ion or ammonium ion so mainly you can think that any metallic or ammonium ion replace the hydrogen atoms to form a salt okay following example illustrate the meaning of the verb definition now if you understand by the examples you can easily understand the first example is hydrochloric acid is a monobasic acid and consists of only one replaceable or ionizable hydrogen atom when it reacts with an alkali the hydrogen atom or h ion gets replaceable by the metallic ion present in the alkali so HCl have only one H ion uh, which can be replaced by any ammonium ion. Okay, so when it reacts with an alkali uh, like any as sodium hydroxide, what it form? It forms a salt, sodium chloride. Okay, so this H ion is replaced by a metallic ion present in the alkali. Okay, so it was a replaceable and Na is replaced here. So it forms a salt like KOH also potassium hydroxide also react with acid and it forms potassium chloride. So it is a simple example. Next example is sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is a diabasic acid and contains two replaceable hydrogen atoms. They can be replaced partially or completely as shown below forming a salt each time. So you can see here when sulfuric acid is react with sodium hydroxide it forms sodium bisulfate and you can see in this sodium is replaced one hydrogen ion and the same next reaction you can see it also forms a salt although acetic acid you can see Although acetic acid consists of a total of four hydrogen atoms, yet it is a monobasic acid and contains only one replaceable H atom. You have to recall when we discuss about the monobasic, dibasic, and tribasic acids, why CH3COH is called a monobasic acid because it consists only one hydrogen ion. Okay, so CH3COH plus NOH and it forms sodium acetate and uh, as two okay so one uh, replaceable hydrogen ion is present and it will be replaced by the sodium now there are some classification of salts and ion present in different type of salt so you can uh, see on your book also whenever this star is make this means it was it not included in your course book or oh, in course book is given but it is not in your syllabus okay so normal salts are in, in your syllabus so we will be uh, discuss about that the salts formed by the complete replacement of the replaceable hydrogen ion of an acid molecule 
बाय अ मेटालिक और अमोनियम आयन आर कॉल्ड नॉर्मल सॉल्ट सो यू कैन से दैट वेन any hydrogen atom is uh, sorry hydrogen ion is completely replaced by any metallic ammonium ion these salts are called normal salts you can see the example of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide reaction and the same we will uh, uh, discuss about the H2SO4 reaction with an alkali and ammonium uh, sorry nitric acid nitric acid also react with the alkali and it is formed a uh, so, uh, nitrate okay so like that you can see here normal salts contain a positive ion other than h ion and a negative ion other than hydroxide ion linked together with electrostatic force of attraction so you can see here the positive ion present is usually a metallic ion or ammonium ion nh4 plus when dissolved in water they dissociate ion as and into their constituent ions for example you can see here they replace nacl when we dissolve it in water it will become na plus and cl minus they just break down or dissociate into their constituent ions second are acid salts the salts formed by the partial replacement of the replaceable hydrogen atom ion or a H ion of an acid molecule by a metallic or ammonium ion are called acid salt okay it means salt formed by the replacement of uh, the replaceable hydrogen atoms when partially they formed okay partial uh, not completely replace the hydrogen ions okay so examples are sulfuric acid a dibasic acid is reactive with the sodium hydroxide a monobasic acid it formed sodium hydrogen sulfate okay sodium hydrogen sulfate it is a acid salt so you can see here only one uh, hydrogen atom is replaced not all the hydrogen ions are replaced in this reaction some other examples also given you can see and understand them basic salts the salts formed by the partial replacement of the hydroxyl ion of a diacetic or a triacetic acid are called basic salts so in basic salts is hydroxyl ion will be replaced hydroxyl ion will be replaced okay so you can see in the example this is cupric hydroxide a dibasic uh, sorry diacetic base and it reacts with the monobasic acid uh, hydrochloric acid and it's formed copper hydroxy chloride it is a basic salt so they form basic salt that's why it is called the other examples also you can see here in which the OH ion is replaced of any diacetic or triacetic acid okay mainly example is given here of diacetic acid so now let me talk about the some general methods of preparation of salts first is by direct combination of element several double uh, several soluble and insoluble salts can be prepared by heating the constituent elements together so here is a simple heating method was applied okay direct combination so you can see na plus cl2 it forms 2 na cl so sodium chloride is formed here and fe plus 3 cl2 it forms fe cl3 to fcl3 is from ferric chloride so these are the simple and you can see when lead is reactive with sulfur is formed lead sulfide so there are example of soluble salts and these are the example of insoluble salts next it by decomposition soluble salts can be prepared by decomposition of carbonates bicarbonates chlorides and nitrates by an acid for example you can see when sodium bicarbonate react with hcl uh, hydrochloric acid it forms sodium chloride okay so these are the decomposition bicarbonate because here bicarbonate 
okay decomposition of bicarbonate take, take place here and here sodium carbonate and copper uh, carbonate so there are these are the reaction of decomposition of carbonates and like that other sodium chloride and zinc chloride so here decomposition of chloride will be occur and here is decomposition of nitrates of potassium nitrate and zinc nitrate so these are the simple reaction you can easily understand them if you have any confusion you can ask okay by precipitation in precipitation what happened double this decomposition reaction also called is insoluble salts can be prepared by precipitation reactions involving double decomposition you can see here double decomposition will be occur see the example AgNO3 plus HCl so here one is Ag is replaceable with Cl and NO3 with H so you can see here double decomposition will be occur so it form HNO3 and HCl like that also BaCl2 plus H2SO4 it forms BaSO4 and to HCl so like these are the double decomposition reactions which forms a precipitate okay you can see silver chloride precipitate barium sulfate lead chloride copper sulfide okay and next is by displacement soluble salts of active metals such as sodium calcium aluminium magnesium zinc iron etc can be prepared by simple displacement reaction involving the action of an active metal on a dilute acid you can see here the acid should be dilute not concentrated okay so active metal when reacted with dilute hcl it form mgcl2 magnesium chloride okay magnesium when reacted with and same like some zinc iron or iron with hcl and h2so4 both they form ferrous sulfate and ferrous chloride so these are the simple displacement reaction you can see here mg is uh, displaced with the uh, mgcl2 and uh, s2 will be liberated in this reaction other method is by neutralization neutralization of an insoluble base with an acid okay the insoluble oxide and hydroxide of certain metal react with certain acid to form water soluble salts so these are formed water soluble salts because an acid and a base when react with each other they neutralize each other that's why it is called a neutralization reaction so lead oxide is reacted with an acid nitric acid and it forms lead nitrate like that other reactions also given neutralization of a soluble base here you have to consider that here the base is insoluble and when we react with soluble base and acid it forms kno3 it forms a just soluble salts so here are insoluble salts uh, soluble salts also formed here soluble salts are formed like that so the difference in both reaction you can see here that they form only water soluble salts these are only water soluble but these are soluble salts it means except from water they can be soluble by other medium also okay so you have to understand these little things so as uh, other laboratory preparation of some normal and acid salts also given on your course book so you can uh, read them and understand them but these are not in your syllabus no one reaction of laboratory method are in the icsc syllabus so i hope you will be understand how salts are formed and if you have any confusion you can ask to me and very short answer and short answer you have to be completed so meet you in the next classes thank you